It's like the only thing I can do now is basically try to board him. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, that didn't happen before. They said a long time ago, our world was whole. With unending grasslands and massive forests. Great nations went to war over lines drawn on the earth. And then, the world broke. In the blink of an eye, everything was forever changed. Yet, mankind persevered, harnessing newfound powers. They survived, and they thrived. The sky was no longer a limit. From centuries of conflict came prosperities and new orders. Yet their vice again festered. Corruption, stagnation, and oppression. Now the cauldron of boiling anger is spilled to the brim. All it takes is for someone to push it over. Hello and moin moin. In this video I wanted to highlight Kingdoms, uh, Airship Kingdoms Adrift, which is a game that sends off strong St. Meyers vibes. It has basically the same charm for me that makes me kind of like it. Um, like it. Also, the graphics are really, really awesome, in my opinion, like they fit the game really good. And overall gameplay is enjoyable, in my opinion. I mean, there is some tweaks and tricks that could be improved, but yeah, um, so much for the intro, let's jump right into the game. I already played this to get a basic grasp of the game and not be totally confused. First of all, uh, there are three nations you can choose from as you're starting, basically. Aesirlian Kingdom, Azure Eagles of the Azure Ring. Aesirlia Kingdom is the most powerful nation of the Azure Ring, boasting the most powerful fleet and advanced magical technology. Their citizens are very disciplined and formal people, they followed the old teachings of their ancestors to their heart, while not shying away from making change. In Aesirlian, those who take arms and fight for their nation, especially those who achieve greatness, will gain untold prestige and recognition. While other professions are as important, none is more popular than enlisting into service of the nation. We got the New Viridian Re New Republic. New Viridian Republic, mayors of the Viridian Ring. The Republic is the most powerful nation of the Viridian Ring with many other nations under its sphere of influence, controlling a large and diverse fleet. The Green Ringers are brave and cultured people. They are skilled traders and eloquent diplomats who value progression and profits above all else. They are skilled traders and eloquent diplomats who value progression and profits above all else. With most people living their lives in abundance, the Republic often places individuality and personal well-being above societal values. And, obviously, for unrelated reason, we got the nation that I chose to play first, the Teutonic Confederation. Teutonic Confederation, Dragons of the Silver Ring, a confederation of clans and tribes of the harsh, endless wasteland. Their metal airships are uniquely designed to survive harsh conditions, requiring no sail and wind by utilizing the power of black science. The Silver Ringers are hardy and strong people shaped by the harsh environment of the cold, arid, and scarcity. They are gifted warriors and brilliant inventors with an unyielding will to survive. In the Confederation, everyone works to contribute to the survival and prosperity of the community. This makes the people of the Confederation place more value on resources and knowledge rather than recreation and entertainment. All right, um, as I already know them, in this case, I'm also going to replay uh, use the Teutonic Confederation again. Um, basically this changes your starting ship and basically your whole fleet uh, or ships you can get Teutonic later on. Confederation. Also there's PvP in this game. I think you might be nation bound on the PvPs when when it's in fully release state. Um, you also got career backgrounds. At the moment there's only combatant unlocked. Combatant. You get you certain among the best your nation has to offer to the Great Sky War. Instead of wasting your talent talk, in risky battles, you are put to good use away from the main theaters. Sometimes in your nation's territory, and sometimes far within the enemies. 
At first, you were a rising talent among peers, cruising and hunting wanted men and ships wherever they may be. After hardened by years of service, you left the army and became a hired hand, serving whatever cause you deem worthy. Years with endless supplies of jobs have left you with your guard down. As the war stalled, you sold your things to keep men on the payroll. Then the year drags on. You contemplate loaning your ship and giving up a life of a Skyfarer. At that desperate moment, you received the letter. <laughs> I like that they do this um, extended background. And also this kind of um, relaxes my voice a little more when I don't have to read everything myself. I like the voiceover. Let's just put it like that. Uh, you get different start uh, starting items and special or like perks depending on what you would choose. In this case, we only can do combatants. So yeah, you can also create your character to your own liking. Let's just quickly. And we are obviously a captain captain. Captain of all captains. Dear Commander, thank you very much for your kind consideration to join the Silverbloom Trading Company. Within this envelope you will find an exchange note for the upfront payment as per our agreement and a handbook detailing rules and regulation that you must comply with while under the company's employment. Your ship has also been granted one-way passage into the South Seagian border during the week of your arrival, so please be at the Kingdom's border on time. Looking forward to meet you in person on October 592nd, Agatha Schwartz, the Silverbloom Trading Company. Yeah, this fine lady is basically the main character we have to deal with in the beginning. There's also a storyline bound to different characters we meet and stuff like that. But um, this also might be kind of sandboxy. I'm not exactly sure what they are planning to make it in the end. But you can pretty much build up industries, fleets, um, yeah, fight battles. <laughs> it's basically Sid Meier's Pirates with an online component and also more storylines and stuff added to it. Well, good morning, Commander. You had a good night's sleep? We have a guest, so you might want to wake up now. They didn't respond to the hail. Soothsag is truly as lawless as they said. Let's get this over with. Yeah, I also really like the visuals in this game. I mean, I'm not saying they are like S tier in general, but um, they are pretty much very fitting for this game, and I think they work excellently. So we got control of our ship now, and basically that starts off an RTS style, or not RTS style, but a tactical battle in which you can control at least one of your ships manually, I think, and. Depending on how much ships you got in your fleet, I think might, some might also be AI control. Um, the fun part is you can also configure your ships yourself, but I'll show that in a little later stage, soonish. <laughs> Let's just finish that fine sir off that is attacking us here. Shouldn't be too much of a hustle. Yeah, on the lower left screen you see basically our status and on the lower right it's his status uh, as he changed his port side now um, basically I'm shooting armor again I would like to get on the other side but that's pretty hard as we are not that fast sadly but we start to crack him up I mean we also got some damage on our ship but we are vastly superior to him you also can go into close range combat if you would like to do so. Uh, you see there's this pop-up in the center then and once it's filled up you can pretty much uh, or once it's filled up they will start uh, dogfighting. The crew status. And you see like his crew number is going down. Why we do that. And once it reaches zero we got the ship boarded. 
delayed by an outlaw on the way to her new job. What luck, huh? Okay. Didn't really bought him, but I'm not sure if that was possible. Uh, after every fight, we can choose loot or spoils of war. And yeah, we're just gonna take everything at this point. Right. Silver Bloom is just ahead. And now, basically, already the map we opens up. I'll go do my thing Well, you go talk to this Agatha Schwartz. Alright, let's get ready to port. Okay, in this case they teleported us, so my bad. I remembered it to be already open, but they teleported us to the location we had to go in this situation. Uh, this is port. The Silver Bloom trading. Well, in you go then. I need to go do my things now. Once you're done, we can meet at the tavern. When we next see each other, we'll toast your new position. Good luck. Basically, this is now another officer that joined our crew. He also has skills that we can use during combat or... Like crew states. I wouldn't exactly call them skills. Welcome. We meet at last. There will be a story bit now, so if you're not too interested in this, you might want to skip course. I am Agatha Schwartz. Owner and director of the Silverbloom Trading Company. I will let it play out for people that are interested. I am glad that you answered my call. We at Silverbloom are always looking for talented individuals to help elevate our company to even greater heights. That being said, we must at least test you before officially accepting you into Silverbloom to prove that what I know about you is true. This is Jean Donadieu. I am assigning him as your assistant for this task. Jean, explain the task, please. Hello there. I guess you'll be my commander for this one. So nice to finally meet you, commander. Jean, donne du, at your service. Silver Bloom has a contract with a nearby town at Burnmel for their lumber shipments. The problem is, shipments have been constantly raided and delayed, which is bad for business. Our task this time is to investigate who is raiding us and persuade them to stop. After that, we should report to Burnmel Harbormaster that the coast has been cleared. Then we come back here to report our finding. Sounds about right, ma'am? Yes, that's correct. We don't expect them to be anything dangerous. But please exercise caution. A lame bull can still go a man, after all. It would not do if you were to die out there while not even a part of our company yet. Don't worry, ma'am. I will look after the commander myself. And I will be attaching an observer to you for this task. An observer, ma'am? To make sure I will be making a right choice in the end. I hope you. She's currently at the storehouse to the southeast, just the next island over. Be a dear and go pick her up, would you? Hi, ma'am. Whoever this guy may be, our ability will impress you for sure. You are still a seedling yourself, Jean. What did- Don't get cocky. Not the words I would use, but indeed. Remember, go pick up the Observer first, then head to Burnmill. Now, get going already. I pray for your victory and safe return. Sorry, I accidentally clicked one time too fast. That's a little annoying that you have to click always and they don't continue by themselves. Well, this guy also got added to our officers by now. We also got one of our quest items removed. And yeah, um, here's a little overall help. I already read through this, so if you're interested, once you play yourself, you can do that to get a basic um, idea of what is going on. Um, this is our main story, but at this point, the only thing we can do is um, basically have our quest repeated as we are not able to finish it yet. Um, let's have a look at the shipyard, actually. There's the parts merchant. Uh, in which you can buy new cannons, guns, everything basically, other components for your ship. Um, yeah, literally anything to outfit a ship. I mean, this is very basic obviously in the beginning, but um, yeah, I'm already gonna upgrade my standard cannons a little bit because I got the worst ones in the game. And I might wanna change them. Our ship doesn't have too much payload, so I need to look for uh, ones that basically in the lower, in the 
bottom mid you see like this arrows in four direction the one times two uh, that's basically the size and I need one times one cannons mm, yeah I just think I'm gonna take these three for now we can sell off these small iron cannons because that's basically uh, excess cannons we cannot use them at the moment and we don't really need them um, then there's this construction bay, and that's basically um, the way you can completely customize your ships. Um, these are gun spots. You cannot randomly place your cannons. Like, in example, I cannot place it over here or something. You have to use the preset gun slots. I think that's for some kind of balancing. So we are not totally going ham with your layout. And add like 50 cannons to a small ship like this. Um, yeah, then there's like see uh, that's basically energy and that's oh no where are these parts it's more mana right please <laughs> um yeah you get like different preset spots to to the layout that you have to use but otherwise you can freely customize them in that sense uh you got the warehouse which is just storage you can put in your stuff and access is from basically any city Oh no, 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 I don't think any city, it's, it's, this is the Silverbloom HQ, I think uh, you got different warehouses, but uh, you might, I didn't test it, but I think they might be bound to a single destination. Uh, you got then Rodrigo's story, which is basically mm -hmm. going into the tavern here? now. Don't you have things you should be doing right now? I'm busy with something right now, just as you should be. Let's meet up here after you're done with your mission, eh? But for now, we have to do our mission. Um, there's also the, like these side quests to get the, uh, to know the characters better. We got the regular trader. Um, the ship supplies are pretty important. You will use up supplies while traveling the map and once they reach zero you are in trouble if you are not near a port. So I'm gonna just take a little more of those. And we are ready to leave. Okay, now this is the point where we are ready to freely roam around the map. So, you got this huge world map and yeah, you basically are allowed to go wherever you would like. Our first thing we have to do is uh, pick up the... Yes, that was so close I didn't even see it and it zoomed out state. Uh, to pick up that, that observer that was assigned to us. So let's set that to the destination and then we can pretty much travel there. There is an auto travel so if you set the destination and don't touch your keyboard afterwards like me then he will auto travel there you can then just speed up basically i'm going to jump to that location now yeah once you are at these locations you got basically this um lighting up and then you got different options in this case we can visit this location so we're going to do that to pick up the observer i'm sorry there is a bit of story in the beginning i hope this is not the too uninteresting. Greetings, you must be the commander. I am. Siggy? Come on, Jean. Don't use nicknames when we're working, yes? My name is Sigrun Vilkur, Miss Agatha's personal aide, at your service. For the duration of this task, as per Miss Agatha's request, I will be serving as an observer aboard the ship. You will? We might be heading into a fight, you know? And an observer, really? Yep, you can learn much of someone's character when their life is on the line. So says Miss Agatha. I don't think we will be in any kind of danger. Well, more than usual, anyway. I will be impartial, you know. So be ready to be judged harshly, no matter how well we know each other. You're already having fun, huh? Oh, well, welcome aboard, Miss Sigrun. We got basically your character sheet, or like the quest item that we needed to get from her. She also joined our crew now. Um, I think she has a little bit of almost a too mature voice. Ah oh, yeah, almost forgot that. Uh, you also can directly deliver your quests to these related characters. So we got that one fulfilled now and basically get the next one. They will also raise their level and liking to you or like loyalty you, to you and stuff like that basically we don't have any more to do here so we're just gonna go our way
Oh yeah. And this red circle hey, indicates an enemy ship. Fast. Yep. Is the design gory and tasteless? It's hard to read and its coloring hurt my eyes. So, yes? That must be William Wellington, the local troublemaker. Commander, I suggest you get ready for a scuffle. Attention, peasants! This is William Walter Wellington. You will halt your ship and be prepared for an inspection of any illegal cargo. And under which jurisdiction do you operate? Kerr! Who are you to question me? Jean Donadou, Silver Bloom, newest ace, at your service. Newest ace? Hmm. I will remember your name, Donadou, when I finally expose you for the criminal you are. Right. Battlestar. Yeah, I like that guy. <laughs> he gives me good vibes. Calling the Gun opposer. Uh, op Looks like we got adversary or like place. your enemy peasant is always a good move. Looks like we hit that engine. Well, this one is a little strange because it will only straight face Ooh, towards to me. And yeah, I don't. That's something I don't really get. You can also drift with your ship a bit, but the evasion is like really slow. At least on the starting ships, it doesn't make much sense to even try to evade. With luck, you might have the chance to not get completely overtake by these guns of the enemy, but uh, or like completely hit. But most of the time, I don't see much of a chance to evade the enemy shots, that is. Are we gonna go for the capture? Or for the boarding operation here? Doesn't have any crew, basically. And Siri, we should have him, but I think because it's like a, some kind of an event battle, we need to kill him. What? This cannot be! You cheater! Maybe you're not as good as you made yourself out to be, Mr. William. Remember this, Donadieu! You cheaters will not get away with this! And he's off. Until next time, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the good Mr. William. W.W. Forgot the rest of his name. <laughs> What's that all about? I don't know why, but William seems to be holding a grudge against Silverbloom. He rarely succeeds in his shenanigans, though, so we mostly ignore him. We are going to see him again, aren't we? <laughs> and there's also these other roaming ships, like travelers and stuff. And you can choose to either attack or meet with them, and different possibilities. Mm, we now need to get to Pill Mill. Pern, Pern Mill, sorry. Let's quickly do that. Attention, merchant! You are being robbed. Surrender, or we sink you. Okay, here we are at the location. <laughs> this is basically our adversary. By enough chance, are you the outlaws that have been raiding our ship? Why don't you come and find out, soft You are so chatty for a pirate. You can just say you want to fight. Men, battle station. And this fight is uh, a little tricky because first of all you are fighting the same ship as you are in. And even... Engaging the enemy! And even another smaller ship with him. Cannons, fire it with. They're firing on us! So we really need to watch out here. Can already die. <laughs> Yet. Get up 
put easy money. Never. This is rough. He's also repairing the small one. Of it. Kind of confused. Silence. You will get nothing from me. It's a little cocky to go in between them, but at least I can use more firepower like that. And the damage is divided to two sides instead of one. It's a little annoying that there's like this auto fire and you cannot like aim your cannons yourself because as you see I'm mostly missing all of my shots on the smaller target. Try to move a little so I'm not getting hit all the time. It was quite a nice hit on the smaller one. And we are pushing through on the armor on the larger ship, which is really good. We might be able to take out one of his cannons with a bit of luck. They are also pushing through our armor at this point, so yeah, still a little tricky here. I think we destroyed their command post, which is pretty good. Oh, we also got the small ship to surrender, I didn't even get that. That's really good. We're getting ahead here. I had losses to this fight, let's say it like that. I, I lost this fight also before. And I feel like he has forward facing guns. I have to figure out how to do setups like that with forward facing guns. Because I think like he's just concentrating all his forward power to the front instead of us. Who basically has the regular 360 gun setup gives him quite an advantage in me. Ah, we have to keep going. I think it's kind of strange how the damage is displayed because it always looks like they do way more damage on you than you do on them. But I guess that's consecutive damage or something like that. But we are not doing the damage as fast. Whew, got him. At least people are rough. Oh, that was pretty close. They weren't your average outlaws, that's for sure. There are a lot of important looking documents among the things we confiscated, though. Let's go give the good news to the Pell Mill Harbor Master first. Then we can take a closer look at these things. Yeah, we definitely need to go to the harbor as we also desperately need to repair. Our supply is also really low. We need to refill that. So, let's land. Welcome to Pernmill. Haven't seen you in a while, John. What brings you here today? Pirates. I heard you had a problem with them. Aye. So, Miss Agatha sends you. They have been hitting our ships, and we don't have men to go hunting them. Well, we might have got them already on our way in. They attacked us, and we beat them like a drum. Right. The sky should be clear enough. You can send a cargo ship now. Truly? You are a lifesaver. You actually get a job done. Thank God I don't have to wait for the Navy to send help. I'm sure they can get it done too. In the next year or so. Hey now! Enough mouthing government officials! Right, right. Let me write up a report for Miss Agatha and get you some solid reward. Oh, you don't have to. I was preparing it to put a bounty for the privateers anyway. Wait here while I get things ready for you. In that case, 
Glad doing business with you. In the meantime, let's take a look at those documents. Hmm. Journals, love letters, diaries? Who knew raiders were such softies? Here's something. For your service, you will be paid upon each delivery of shipment of wood stolen from Silverbloom Trading Company. That's oddly specific. Do you think this is the way Willie is doing? William isn't this kind of person. Scheming and actually planning, I mean. He's more of a screaming angrily type. There's more here. Bring any shipment you procure to this location. It's not far from Burnley. Should we report this to Miss Agatha? Oh, we handled this ourselves. If that pirate ship was just a hired hand, the employer can just hire more. We need to get to the root of this. Well, I'm just an observer in this, so it's your choice. Hey, I finished my report, and here's the promised reward. Are you going back to Miss Agatha? Not right away. We need to go hunt us some more pirates. Indeed. Then good wins and great fortune join. Until later. Yeah. That basically was our first quest. Uh, we really need to... Keep, well, the repair, I think, is automatically, actually. But um, I wanted to see if we can get a little better armor. But I don't know. Probably not. Yeah, no, no. I don't think we have anything better than the armor plating at this point. There was a little bit of a misconception on my part. And it's pretty hard to um, like get the full grasp of this game. As Admittedly, I also only played it like half an hour before. I don't know yet what all these items are good for. There's also crafting and other stuff. This game might be a little bit too large to actually fit it in a short video. This is basically a side quest again that we can do. Oh, I don't even realize they didn't talk. So we want us to go and take care of them. Right, but if it's possible, try making them back here alive so we can interrogate them. Where do you want them alive? That we can try, but you know. Don't worry, lads. I will make sure you won't work for free. It's also just some guys we need to take as prisoners. Oh yeah. I think it's strange that the red dot doesn't disappear, let's say, after you actually finish the quest. There's also about hunting. You see those get leveled and they also gain more skills and stuff like that. Yeah, for now, let's take off again and continue the hunting. Well, for me, what the game actually does is like, like said before, or stated before, it gives like strong Sid Meier Pirates vibes for me, and I really love that game. I think this is like more of a modernized version of this, maybe, you could say. And it's hard to show it in its full capabilities. Obviously, you have to like experience it yourself, basically, to f get a feel of the game or for the game. I think this video might fail in actually giving that feel because it's very relaxed, like the overall optics, nice, music, nice. This is fun. Also, once you are like in the later stages of We're the game, building your own fleets your and everything. Uh, once you're in the later stages of the game, this might be really interesting, fighting with larger fleets and stuff like that. Also, I think I might have overdone myself here. These look pretty big. These look way too big. Let's get the hell out of here. He's engaging. Move out of the range. Yeah, you can also. That's like with the free roaming. You obviously can run into enemies that are vastly superior. <laughs> but I feel like also. Is this my mission to defeat them? I don't think I can. Is it just looking big and I actually very squishy? Ah, I think I also might not be able to outrun them. He's engaging. Move out of their range.
Ah, uh, sadly it doesn't look like that. Okay. I think we might be in trouble. Yeah, they're already punching through our armor, so I really don't think this is very healthy for us to fight them. You know, I'm trying my best here, but yeah, I don't realistically see this working out good for us or in our advantage, better stated. Maybe could have tried to like kind of get a battle line on them where they block each other, but it's late for that now. Uh, they're already destroying my cans. Ah, uh, they punched through my armor already, and I didn't even scratch there, so that is will not end very well. Also, I'm not sure which which enemy ship I'm seeing in the status. Might be the wrong one, actually. I'm not the one right in front of me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as I'm probably gonna die now, uh, maybe I'm gonna also end the video at this spot. I think I'm, this was enough to basically show the concept of this game. Like, I am admittedly didn't do too well right now. <laughs> But I really like this. And I think this can be really great. Ah, they are scared. They are scared. I feel it. Engaging the enemy. Can I parlay? All right, that's enough. Let's call for a parlay. Ha. Huh. Okay, there is a parlay. What does that do? Okay. I think... What? Did we lose anything? No. Okay, I guess that's some kind of... Saving your sorry ass function. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. We quickly need to repair, definitely. And maybe I'm gonna try quickly to... Yeah, let's actually try to, to do another gun setup. I just remember that. Let's see if we can... No, okay. Kind of confused. How could they do that with a uh, like shooting in front thingy? They had the same ship as me, so... Probably there's cannons that can do that, but like I said, I'm, I'm also not too deep into this game at this point, and I also have to figure out all the stuff myself still. Just wanted to quickly highlight this, and... Yeah. <laughs> Well, this is basically Kingdom Ship. The drift is way larger than I can, like, fit in this video size. So, I hope you're interested in this game because it is really good in my opinion. And depending on what the end game is like, with with maybe there's even like larger fleet battles and stuff like that with other players and everything. It sounded at least like this on the store page. Um, this might be an awesome game, and yeah, I'm gonna end the video now because. I think we saw everything that I can get to at this point without investing several hours in this game. So, thank you very much for coming by. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a great day. See you soon.